Hey friends! I know last week I said that we um, don't do very many vlogs, but here we are again. We are taking a three-day weekend trip to William's hometown in Missouri, and we decided just to bring you along. It's kind of like a foodie trip, really. <laughs> Tell them where we're going tonight. Well, tonight, we don't make it in one day, so we stop in a place called Fairfield, Iowa, and they have a nice little barbecue joint there that also makes Iowa pork tenderloins, for which they're very famous. They're quite delicious, quite big. So one of us will order that for sure, and we'll give a review on that. Yeah, we're going to this family reunion they have every year, and you guys will not believe the spread that William's mom puts on. I will show you all the food all the desserts it's crazy um when we were first good, married though. we went down for christmas and my family ate on platters and it blew sarah <laughs> away so that'll give you an idea of what it's like they like their southern barbecue down there and they're right outside of kansas city so his dad does it all kansas city dry rub style brisket pork butt i mean you name it we're gonna have it and we'll take you with and we'll show you but our first stop was to just refresh get some nice um, coffees and now we're going to be on the road and we'll show you some of the sites. We're just about to go over the Mississippi River. Um, it's beautiful there in Dubuque. In Dubuque, so yeah, very nice town. Stay tuned. All right, see ya. You guys, I actually used to get anxiety about driving over this bridge because it's so tall and long, high above the water, but now I just love it because it's just so beautiful. And if you ever get a chance to go to Dubuque, totally go. There's a Mississippi River Museum there that's well worth a visit. And now we love Iowa, but you know, you do see a lot of corn there. And then we're headed to Sweet and Saucy in Fairfield, Iowa, a great barbecue place, great prices, really good food. Here, we'll give you a quick review. Okay, here's the William. He got the burnt end platter with potato salad and waffle fries and a corn muffin and a half a rack of ribs. Take a bite, honey, and tell me how it is. I got the pork tenderloin. It's pretty enormous. And fried pickles. Really good. That was a potato salad, honey. It's hard to believe. This is one of the best things on the menu. It's killer. <laughs> it's been my favorite thing so far. We saw so many deer, but this is the only one I got a video of. We saw so many tiny babies with their moms. Oh, so cute. Nice cozy room at the American. Hi, honey. Nice Bigfoot shirt. Well, we got a nice view. I mean, it's kind of a messy farm, but... Look at these fellas we get to watch out the window. That's nice, they're getting a little hose down. A minute? Not only do we get to watch these guys, we get a whole pasture full of horses. How fun is this? It's a nice view. Everything looks so calm and peaceful right now, but in just a little bit, these were full of kids. And you wouldn't even believe this, William's mom, who's 75 years old, actually went down this big slide it was so incredible she loved it she had a great time so much fun you guys the food at this family reunion was so delicious i wish i had more or better pictures and videos but people were making pulled pork and brisket nachos there were sides galore and casseroles and fruit and salads everything was so good I had just like a couple bites of so many different things and you can see right here my plate was so full and I didn't even get to try everything. Thankfully we did get to take a few things home. Look at this dessert table. Oh my goodness. So many desserts. That cake, 
scrumptious. Course cookies for the kids. It was just such a great foodie party. And then here I am. I was in charge of, for, of the crafts for the kids, and we made some fairy lights, and we just had a great time. We even filmed a YouTube video while we were there using William's mom's recipes and guest starring his mom and his nephew, who's a chef. And then his mom sent us a home with a whole bunch of vegetables from her garden so I could make even more cooking videos. Okay, friends, so the next and last stop on this trip on our way home is at Wahlburgers, one of our favorite places. And here is what I love. These thin onion rings. So, so good. They're like my favorite thing here. I got the um, barbecue burger. I'll show you. It has bacon and I believe there's um, jalapenos. So here we go. Oh yeah, jalapenos right there. The nice rock crunchy one. Wall burgers, barbecue. Barbecue bacon burger. That's what it's called. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Okay, I'm at Wahlburgers in Dubuque, Iowa. And I thought I'd take a little culinary risk today. And I've got the PB&J burger. It comes with melted creamy peanut butter some bacon, government cheese as they call it, but some sort of bacon jam or something. So that has peanut butter on it? Oh. So a savory jam. And um, let's see how it goes. It's a pretty substantial patty. Try to get over here in a small part. Very tasty burger, perfectly cooked, real juicy. Getting more of a cheese flavor than the peanut butter, but there's a creaminess in there that I can, I can get a hint of. Um, it's good, I'd recommend it so far. Well, that's a wrap on this weekend. We got just a couple hours to drive home. We stopped at Hy-Vee at Wahlburgers, got some Starbucks. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>